tighten these two nuts on there and then to use blue loctite does not say red says blue you don't want one of these to get stuck in there and snap off and whatever you have to drill it out because you put red loctite in there but I mean if you got it out chances are that uh, you know if you clean the threads right correctly and put it back in you just heat it up and it should come out and what it does note is to follow the instructions of cure time for the blue loctite before you install the cylinders, so. Ooh. And then it says just to snug the studs up. There's no torque spec on them that I saw. All right, so that's it on these. Okay, so we'll let those set up. So I got this thing up there. It is 275 degrees. Woo All right, here we go. You gotta be careful, you don't wanna mushroom this end. So I'm definitely gonna have to check that. Should be okay. All right guys, I get the crank in. I'm putting the last, the other piston in here. So it's moving along. Gonna reposition these circlips. So hoping I get this one in here, it's gonna be nice and tight. All I do is get the initial side in and then use a nice sperm plastic pen. Pop it in. Want your circ clips up or down, not sideways. If they're sideways, that gap can get pit, can compress and the ring will come out. So this way it's not going to compress at all. Or this way. So, up or down. Okay, so that. Clean both of these off real quick. Never hurts to be a little extra clean. This last thing you want is a little piece of dirt or sand up in there. Engine on pond rebuild. Just gonna use these little pliers to dip it. These have already been cleaned. Get the whole bearing in there. Let's 
Same thing with the pin. It's like engine fondue. And then to line it up, I'll just take my other finger and stick it through the other side. That helps to line up the bearing and the pin. Oh yeah. Yep, nice and tight. Cool, so I think it was that connecting rod that was giving me the issues Again, clean your part off. Good. And the next step is to put some reeds on. So I'll get that prepped and be back. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put these reeds on here. I already put one on actually, but um I need to clean these holes out because of the powder coat, so well, it's pretty easy. You just uh, run your tap in. I'm not actually cutting threads, so I didn't use any type of uh, lubricant. You do want to clean the tap off in between holes. You get your reed valve. Kept mine in order because this was just a disassembly rebuild situation. It may not look dirty, but it's there. I don't know what you do, but I do red. A little stuff like this. And before I snug them up, I make sure that the reed is back and the gaskets forward. That way it's not hanging to the little, the small spots not hanging over on the inside. And your manual says just to use Loctite, snug them up. These are six millimeter by one and the typical torque setting for those is five to seven pounds, right around six, seven pounds. So I just give it a nice tweak. Make sure it's the same on both. All right, so that's those. And when I took these off, even though I sandblasted them, 
I marked each one of them. This one says PTO right there. I just put some little scratches. Just rub marks. It says PTO, the other one says mag. These are the Kometic gaskets that are actually really good gaskets. The window roses look like they're a little papery. I don't know, I'd rather not use them. People say they're fine. Make sure that your ring gaps are on the intake side and that your arrows face the exhaust on the top of your pistons.